Hi everyone, Kathy Beltran with Wings and Whispers. Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we will be starting step number nine. And so I will remind you, uh, in our first base layer painting, I use Waverly chalk paint in mineral, very light color. My second, um, step eight, was adding my second layer and I used Waverly chalk paint in elephant. This is actually with both of these colors now, the first two colors. So I left this area because I will continue on with the ink. What I wanted to show you was that on my first main body piece, I actually did one layer of the ink. I will come back and do at least two to three layers. And on my middle base, I actually did the second. And so on this top piece, up in here, I did three, three layers. And so what I did was initially I put a lot more water with the ink and really made sure that my um, brush was barely any, any paint on there and took a lot of the water off and so I could do up in this area. And as I progress on to the second layer, I might add more of the ink color, the black in there with the water. And so one of the things I wanted to talk about was if you notice that my edges look really dark. And so I, in the beginning, when we did the layers, I wanted you to come up on the sides and do this. And so I definitely want you to continue doing that with even the black. And so you'll just want to kind of do this up, upward stroke. And that is definitely our step eight. Oh no, this is step nine. So I wanted to go on and show you some of the some of the tips I have with using a fan brush. As you can tell, I have a lot of splatters here, but you definitely want to touch the tips to get off some of the excess on here. And so when you're using, if you're working on your top layer and it's much smaller and you only have one size brush, you're gonna wanna angle it. So you might only use a third of the bristles on top. And you know, I typically hold this piece as I'm going and angling it. And so you'll just want it very lightly. You barely want the touch of the the tip of the bristles and you want to slightly drag it and you just really want to get those fine little almost hair like and sometimes you might want to go up this way and then just use maybe two of the bristles and get deeper in there to, towards the tips. So after I have done that I'll use what's left and I'll go to the other side just kind of get my my base feathering in there. So it's really actually light right now. I'll come back on this side and then I'll kind of push even more in. Instead of being so light with the tips, I'll drag it and put more pressure on it. And then it starts feeling out. So this I would still consider my first layer. Now, when I do these ends, I might just have a lot of on the brush and I will make it really look dark. So, making sure I took some of the water off, I'll come back on here and really darken it up just a little bit more. So with this smaller, the smaller feathers, I don't have to load my brush so much. Where the bigger feathers, you might have to load it a couple times. So I'm working on the last feather now. And like I said, don't worry if you get paint on the ridge line. Um, we will be coming in and doing detailed work. And all this really depends on how much paint you've loaded on your brush are kept there. So I'm going to come back 
back in and do that. Might have to grab a little bit more. And then I'll come back in. And just keep pulling it down and try to get as many fine strands as you can. Again, we're gonna be having so many different layers on here that if you end up going too dark, don't worry about it because we're gonna come in with lighter colors again. So sometimes I'll go back over some and then use just the, the tips of a couple of the br bristles. So, you will want to do this step at least three different times. And you'll notice it gets darker and darker. So I'll bring this back over. I will also not forget to paint the other sides of the feathers that are shown. So I'll get those layers in there as well. So at this point, you'll want to do at least two to three layers and of the um, ink and then we can move on. So I will continue working on this. And happy pink, you guys. I will talk to you later.